Hello and welcome. My name is Katrina Gossick. I'm Director of Product Strategy for Oracle Commerce. I'm looking forward to walking you through the highlights of the February 2016 release of Oracle Commerce Cloud. With each release, our vision is to deliver everything you need to run a powerful online storefront, from great administration tools for merchandising, catalog and promotions management, to innovations in experience delivery and design. We also focus on increasing the extensibility and mobility of Commerce Cloud through core enhancements to the platform and APIs. As you can see, the list of new features in this release is extensive, but this spotlight is just a quick overview of some of the highlights in this release. I'll tell you where to find more at the end of this presentation. Let's take a closer look at what's new in the February 2016 release. Key steps towards realizing our vision for Oracle Commerce Cloud in the February 2016 release include extensibility of the platform and APIs, innovations in A-B testing and promotions management, internationalization enhancements with multi-currency, multi-language, and multi-price lists, and steps towards enabling omni-channel touchpoints with agent console enhancements and wish lists. First, let's talk about extensibility enhancements and updates to the platform and APIs. One platform enhancement is around price group management. This allows merchants to create one or more price groups to use on a site and is important for sites that offer multiple currencies. In addition, merchants can choose which price groups should be associated to which promotions and which shipping methods. This release features enhanced APIs to retrieve or update custom order properties. API callers can coordinate changes with publishing by knowing when publishing is in progress. This is important so customers can use APIs to define custom order properties suitable for their business needs, and REST API calls can safely interact with commerce even if a publish is in progress. In addition, we've introduced a new webhook that triggers within a user-defined time period of cart inactivity. The shopper and cart details are included in the webhook payload, and the abandoned cart setting defines the number of minutes until the webhook is fired. Now let's look at the added value we are delivering in this release with innovations in A-B testing and promotions management. A critical point of value for Commerce Cloud is our dedication to deliver functionality outside of core commerce. Features like image serving and scaling, product recommendations, and now A-B testing come as part of Commerce Cloud to reduce the cost of additional products while delivering great customer experience to shoppers. Experiments is an exciting addition to Commerce Cloud. It is the first A-B testing solution on the market directly integrated into the Commerce platform Please watch our supplementary video to learn even more about this great new tool. Let's move on to Omnichannel. In the February 2016 release, merchants can leverage tiered promotion discounts. An example would be to increase the discount amount as the order value increases, thus enabling ways to entice shoppers to purchase more. Batch coupons are also now available to support large-scale promotion initiatives. Merchants can control coupon usage and set a coupon or batch of coupons to have unlimited use or one-time use. In our last release, we introduced you to wish lists. In this release, shoppers can now sort any wish list by date added or priority. Improvements have been made to the mobile and desktop views so shoppers can have a consistent experience across devices. Merchants can more easily control and customize default wish list layouts and settings to better suit their needs. Additional properties are available for customizing wish list notifications such as new product post, new comment, and new member emails. Merchants can also configure default messages for Facebook share posts from a wish list or PDP. We also continue to invest in and enhance agent console. Agent Console now supports price groups. This means agents can create orders in different price groups and view amount and quantity of orders placed in different price groups in a dashboard. They can also process orders in different currencies via configured price groups. Shipping methods and coupons can also be specific to price groups. 
Agent console now supports coupon usage as defined by the merchant in the admin console. The system validates the available uses of the coupon and shows error if it is exhausted. And the storefront tiered order discount is also available in Agent Console. In this release, agents can update custom properties as defined for a shopper profile using the Administrative Console APIs. These properties can be set up as internal or visible to a shopper. Agent Console also supports custom order properties. Agents can set up any order parameters they want to record, such as shipping instructions. Finally, for Agent Console, refunds marked for manual refund can be marked complete by the agent. Notes or references can be added when marking a refund as complete. This feature provides agents a way to update status of manually paid refunds. I also want to highlight for the February 2016 release an update to access control. In the release, administrators can grant access to the business user tools based on the needs of the organization. For example, there is now expanded role-based access for the business user tools per tab, such as catalog, dashboard, design, marketing, and media. The admin also has the ability to manage existing user permissions. This release now provides admin-only access to site-critical areas such as access control, web APIs, extensions, and email settings. Around the theme of globalization, we now provide a gateway-independent framework that can be used to integrate with multiple payment gateways and processors. This is designed to allow customers to use Commerce Cloud webhooks to integrate with payment providers of their choice using card payment webhooks with authentication for the transaction types authorization, void, and refund. The new payment gateway allows our international customers to use their local providers as well. We are also supporting our international customers with support for multiple currencies. The shopper can select from a list of available currencies as set up by the merchant. The storefront displays products and prices for the selected currency and displays only the eligible shipping countries, state, and regions based on the selected currency. Shipping methods and eligible promotions will also update based on the selected currency. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the February 2016 release of Oracle Commerce Cloud. Stay tuned for the next release of Commerce Cloud and be sure to check out the latest documentation, videos, and release readiness content. And for more information on this release, please visit cloud.oracle.com. Thank you for your time.